All right, so lesson 82 is on the volume of a rectangular prism. So here we have my rectangular prism, and it's how many one-inch cubes are needed to form this rectangular prism. And then a one-inch cube is a cube whose edges are one inch long. So uh, here at the bottom, we show what the first row would look like. If I did the base, which is five, five inches and three inches, I would get 15 square inches. Thus, it takes 15 cubes to make my bottom. Okay, So I know it takes 15 cubes to make the bottom of this prism. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 15 cubes by my height. So I know how much the entire thing takes. So it's going to be 15 times by 4. Okay. And... 4 times 5 is 20, carry my 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So it would take 60 cubes to fill up this whole shape. So here we have what is the volume of a cube whose edges are 10 centimeters long. So if I was to draw this out, it would look like this just a little bit. So I'd have my cube. Poorly drawn cube. Let's try that again. That's better. Okay, so I have my cube, and it says that each edges are 10 centimeters long. And since it's a cube, I know that all the sides have to be 10 centimeters. Now, to find the volume of a rectangular prism or a cube, the volume is equal to length times width times height. So if all the edges are 10 centimeters long, that means that each of these are going to be 10 centimeters. So my volume is going to be 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. So my volume is equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed. When we deal with volume, you always need to label it centimeters cubed, Okay, because I'm multiplying centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. So that's three of them, that's why we're cubing it. Okay. All right, in this problem we have, find the volume of a rectangular prism that is four feet long, three feet wide, and two feet high. So remember again, volume equals length times width times height. So let's put in the numbers. So my volume equals four feet long, times 3 feet wide, times 2 feet high. 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, and my label is feet cubed. All right, on this last problem, we have Allison put small cubes together to build larger cubes. She made a table to record the number of cubes she used. So if the cube length of one edge was 2, her volume was 8. 3, 27. 4, 64, 5, and 125. So we need to figure out, given this pattern, describe a rule that could be used to find the volume of a cube specifically. Well, let's go ahead and look at the 2 and the 8. Okay. So we know that the volume is equal to length times width times height. Now if this is a cube, I know that each side has to be the same length, so it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. Now, if you notice here, we have the same numbers, so what can we do to these numbers to write it in a simpler form? We can say 2, two cubed. Volume equals 2 cubed. Okay, So that means that my rule is going to be that my volume is going to be the length of one of my sides cubed to find the volume of a cube. Let's double check to see if this works. So let's put in 3 into my equation here. So volume equals 3 cubed. So that's 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. Did we get that? That's correct. Okay. So my rule is the volume equals the length of a side, S, cubed. 
So let's say I wanted to find out what my volume is if the length of my side was 6. So I just plug that into my equation here. Volume equals 6 cubed. So that's 6 times 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. And then I do 36 times 6, which I do not know off the top of my head. So I'm going to go ahead and solve it. All right, 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 20, 21. So if I have the length of one of my sides is 6, the volume would be 216. Okay. All right, I hope that helps. Good luck with your homework.